Oh man, nothing like a good cup of coffee. Whoa, that's a little bit bitter. I don't know who put what into that. Good thing I got plenty of sugar. That'll sweeten it up, won't it? That's actually a great lead in to what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about bitterness because you know that's something that is all over our world. Proverbs 14 says, the heart knows its own bitterness and a stranger does not share its joy. You know, deep down, we all know our own bitterness and the thing of it is, is when there's bitterness, you don't have much joy. You know, you can, you can use all kinds of artificial sweeteners to try and sweeten things up, but the reality is it's deep down there. That's why Hebrews 12, 15 says, see to it, that no one comes short of the grace of God and that no root of bitterness springs up and causes trouble and by it many people become defiled. You see, uh, bitterness, my experience in like 28 years of ministry and 59 years of life is that bitterness is poison, bitterness imprisons, and bitterness prevents joy. So, I don't know where you're at in life. Usually, we kind of go and we do okay. We cope with things and we can even have a little bit of joy, but when we've been hurt, if we haven't worked through that bitterness, it's a really painful thing. Michael Ramsden is a Christian speaker and, uh, and speaks all over the world to a lot of different groups. I was listening to him from Bermuda. Uh, a while back. He did this a couple of years ago. And he talks about the bitterness of injustice. And he said he's going all over the world and he sees the same thing in every country. People have really a bitterness identity. And that is a terrible thing. He says, you know, the problem with having bitterness or, or uh, when you have a victim mentality, that bitterness stays with you. And what happens is, even if you go seeking justice, and you may even get justice, if you start with a, a victim mentality with that bitterness, even when you get justice, you still have bitterness. But he points out, if you understand how much you've been forgiven through Jesus Christ, and you have that forgiveness and that love, then as you seek justice, right, for whatever the bitterness is, even if you don't get the justice, you still have your forgiveness and your love because that can't be taken away. And that's just a powerful, powerful concept because, hey, who of us haven't had some kind of injustice or been a victim of something? Pretty much all of us at some point in life. But here's the key. Choosing forgiveness and love instead of holding on to the bitterness, that's a choice. And only you can make it. And if bitterness is, is poison and it imprisons and it prevents joy, then forgiveness restores feelings and it revives relationships. And that's what, that's what God wants for you. That's what Jesus came to do to set us free. So, now that's where grace comes in. If you've been given grace, can you give grace to the other person? Right? It's not saying what they did was okay. It's saying that as I've been forgiven, so I will forgive you. And that, my friends, can set you free. So thanks for joining us for Faith in a Few, and I hope your coffee is not bitter. And if so, give it a little grace. Thanks.